How you doing? This is Sean McVay, Sean's Outdoor Adventures, and like many of you, I am getting ready for hunting season. Part of that means for me, I desperately needed some new boots this year. So I'm gonna check these out. I'm going with Tidewee this year. Give these a try. I'm actually gonna go, I'm, gonna, I'm getting two pairs of boots this year. Uh, for early season, I like a slightly thinner boot because it's not as cold. So this is like their, I think it's six millimeter neoprene thickness here. A few things you'll notice right out of the box, there's a little lip right there. That helps you, you put your foot on there for getting the boot off, so it helps you get the boot off. There's an extra protective lining right in here. The grip looks good. There is a cinch right here. You pull it tight and then flip that little clasp over. The rubber comes all the way up to here and then a little bit of neoprene comes out there. Today what I'm going to do for testing it out, I'm going to get down and act as if I'm in a ground blind to see what kind of flex I get here, how that feels on my foot. I'm also going to try climbing some climbing sticks as if I was going to get in a tree stand. I'm also going to get in my climber, my lone wolf climber, and see how well the boot fits in for climbing because those are important things for a hunting boot. You need to be able to climb if you're playing in a hunt. A lot of people hunt out of a tree stand. I'm gonna check that. Uh, so another thing I'll just mention, there's, they do come in different camouflage patterns. This is the Realtree Extra Camo. It also comes in the Realtree um, Edge Camo and Mossy Oak as well. I just always kind of like the Realtree Extra. That's been my favorite camouflage pattern. It has the neoprene in here. This particular boot, I think is the six millimeter thick uh, neoprene. I'm also going to get a pair of their 800 gram Thinsulate um, hunting boot for later in the season, but early in the season I went with a slightly lighter one, which is this one right here. I went with a size 13 and it fits me very nicely, um, but you do want to double check the size chart to make sure you get the correct size for your foot. They're 100% waterproof as you would expect from this style of boot and it's it is it is breathable as well, so the, this material. So the temperature range for this particular boot is about a, a negative four degrees to about 60 degrees, roughly speaking. Um, obviously, if you're gonna do more sitting than you are walking, you need that extra heat. But if you're gonna do a lot of walking, this might be a little too much boot. You might wanna go with a, one that's not as insulated. A lot of my style of hunting though, I'm gonna be sitting in my tree stand for many hours so I like that warmth. Alright so let me go out and give it a try. Let's go Alright as you can see I just tried walking around to see how comfortable it was and it felt really good on my foot. I also got down on the ground as if I was in a ground blind just to see what is that pinch like on my toe area right in the front here. And uh, it felt pretty much like any other boot I've ever had. It was comfortable, but like any boot, if you're gonna sit like that for a really long period of time, you're probably gonna need to shift to make an adjustment. I do like the fact that the boot tapers in at the top right here. I've had boots that do not taper in, and so like when you're walking through a high field during the summertime, if there's chiggers, they fall right down into your boots, and I've had my whole feet get bit up by chiggers because of that. So this, the fact that this tapers in like this, I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about that. So that's going to help prevent a lot of that type of thing, like the, the bugs and stuff, ticks and chiggers from falling down into the boot while you're walking through like a high grassy field. Now, as far as using this in the climbing tree stand, as you can see, I had no problem at all fitting the boot in there and climbing up and down the tree. It, it fit in nicely. There was actually room to spare, so it wasn't like a very tight fit, which was nice. So the boot slid in and out from under the bar very easily without making any excess of noise, you know, from, from it being a tight fit. So it was a good fit in that regard. Now I'll try using this on climbing sticks. As you can see, there's really good grip with the boot and I can just cruise right up and down the tree with great ease. So the boot did fit on the, the foot pegs very easily. There has been boots that I've owned, there have been boots that I've owned that were actually so big and bulky 
I could, couldn't really comfortably go up and down on climbing sticks. So this, this boot is good for that as well. So all in all, I, I'm, I'm enjoying this already. I'm grateful that I have them. I was really in need of a new pair this year. So um, I'm gonna be putting some miles on with these boots this year. If you're interested in checking them out, I will have a link for them in the description section. This is a paid uh, video, so in the sense, Tidewe is paying me to make this video. So I will provide a link in the description section if you want to check out this type of a boot from Tidewe. There's also a discount they're offering to my viewers, so the discount code is in the description section of this video along with the link. And like any rubber boot, I will conclude with this, any rubber boot's going to have a little bit of odor of rubber. It's This isn't really that bad compared to some of the ones I bought but it, it is a good idea to buy your boots a little bit in, in advance of the season and try to break them in a little bit and wear them uh, and that helps cut down on the odor it also helps you get accustomed to the boot so don't hesitate to order them get them in walk around I'm going to actually be hunting in the next few days with these um, I'm going out to Colorado for a second round of the Colorado season uh, archery elk so stay tuned for that until then take care and God bless